What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Final Hydra, and today we are going to be continuing right where we left off in Elden Ring. Now, at the end of the last episode, we vanquished Patches, and, uh, you know, I don't even, I don't even remotely feel bad. We took his crap. Forget Patches. He's the worst. But I'll be honest, I, I do not quite remember what my goal was after that. We, we beat up Patches. I know the dragon kind of kicked my keister a little bit. I had to walk away from that one. But, uh, let's see. We can go over into Mistwood. That might be good. We can go, go on over there. We can do that. We could do that. We can also go all the way up this river. Because I do not think I did that. I did not get the cave up this river. And there's another little hidden cave here that we can grab. Anything to... Oh. Hey, buddy. Ah, we meet again. To have fought Nereus and lived. You must have seen your share of battle. I am Yura. As you might recall. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. You stay the path. You're certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. Oh, all right. In your way, perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. All right. So, he helped us in that fight against that other guy, the, the bloody finger. Um, and, or we helped him. I'm not really sure, actually, because, you know, yes, we did get invaded, but he's also, like, the, the hunter of them. So, like, if he never invaded us, would that guy have been able to catch him? Who knows? So, we kind of helped each other out. Um, and basically, he's telling us that, oh, well, you know, be careful about those going forward because they hunt down our kind, our tarnished. Oh, God, we can see inside my head a little. It's the first look inside of my helmet. All right, we got the Merc Water Catacombs. Now, I actually do not remember what the reward for these particular caverns are, but we're going to tackle it all the same. All right, well, I, the reward for walking in like an idiot is to get stabbed like a fool. But with Patches' spear, we're going to clean up real nice in here. So remember, when we're, we're, when we're winning, we just got to... We just got to take a good old peek in the rearview mirror and just give a nice little wave to old Patches there. Thank you for that nice uh, weapon, Patches. Come this way, come this way, come this way. Come on, there you go. Isn't that hilarious? Oh, we got more customers. Okay, somehow that literally didn't hit any of them. And I just shot myself. Okay, cool. So... What have we learned from what I just did? Pretty much nothing. Uh, don't be me. Come on, they're right in line. All right, well, at least we got them. I just didn't really want to get stuck between them, and let's be honest, we probably wasted the same amount of... Oh, boy. We probably... Can this message go away? Like, bro, nobody cares about some... Oh... Oh, oh, all the mistakes were made. My God, all the mistakes were made. I've got no healing left. You know what? Who cares? We got it. I don't even know who the damn boss is here. Oh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to I don't know if we're going to pull this one out. Not without a single heal. I'm gonna be honest, I a little worried about that one. Here, let's let's get the mob involved. Anytime the mob wants to join in on the fun. I was just saying, let's have a look at our damage. That's really going to be our, our tuning fork, so to speak. Oh, yep, and that's how I screwed up. Okay, apparently not that bad. We're just gonna turn tail and run, baby. 
Yeah, he can yell all he wants. I don't really care. Damn, the mob just isn't quick enough to, like, get in on him. Dude, look at how good this guy is, is at avoiding them. That's, like, the wild part. Yeah, no, we're gonna go with Glintstone Blade. That does more damage. Oh, he did get me. See, I, I didn't think I could do it without a single heal, but that's okay. I, I messed up. That's my fault. We're gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. I feel like we do need the mob. These are doing nice damage to him. That's like the wild part. Just want that back, please. Thank you. Oh, God. They're playing with this dude at the door. Am I actually just alone in here? Hello? Gentlemen? I think he actually breaks it if he walks through and it doesn't deal the damage. Or it deals like reduced damage. Jeez, these guys here literally hurting me deep inside by how stupid they're being. There we go, now they're involved. Can't say we're getting much out of them, but at least they were involved for a minute there. It's the thought that counts. It does seem to do damage when he walks through it. I just can't, like, attest to how much it actually is. Like, is it actually worth it? Probably not. Well, let's just end this. Goodbye. You can't stop me. Banished Knight Engval. What? That's not the reward for this dungeon. He gives you the hammer. He gives you the hammer that he just, he was, what? Did they change that in the patch notes? What? Hold on. Hold, 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 hold the phone here. These absolute psychopaths just gave me the Banished Knight Engval. One of the two knights dubbed the Wings of the Storm. Despite his banishment, he rejected the invitation of the grace-given lord, instead keeping watch over a masterless castle for many years, gaining renown as a hero of the fringes. Interesting, you could say. Because uh, here I was, oh, this dungeon's worthless. It drops a big hammer that I'm never going to be able to swing with this guy. But it seems like some things have changed. Which is pretty interesting because I'm pretty far through my playthrough on my, you know, uh, I should probably see. How much does it actually cost this guy to level up? I've completely forgotten. We can level up, but let's go back to Sorcerer Selen. And I think it's interesting because now also with the update that they've added all these little waypoint markers everywhere for everybody, which is very nice of them. Shall we come in? Have you changed up what you're offering? Not particularly. Not particularly. She does have the glintstone arc, which is really nice. And I know somebody out there is like, get the pebble. The pebble is too good. The pebble is too good. All right. I know the pebble's too good. I promise I know the pebble's too good, but we don't, we're not going to get the pebble, okay? Just stop yelling at me. Um, what I do want to do is I forgot that there was a scroll nearby, and I actually don't know if it's still there anymore because things may have changed, but I'm going to show you guys where there's a pretty good scroll with two spells, one of which I think I definitely will be getting. I'll probably be getting both of them if we're being honest with ourselves. If we can speak freely and be honest, we'll probably be getting them both. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to do there with that voice, that accent, whatever the hell I was doing. Just, just laugh at me and we can move on, all right? Perfect. I believe it's up here, if I remember correctly. 
Which is wild, because I could have sworn I went through this area with a fine tooth comb, but... We all make mistakes, and we all learn from them. Such is the nature of any From Software game, you know? From Soft. It's this guy, right? This guy's got the thing? Am I stupid? Did I? Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa. How dumb am I? How dumb am I? It was in my pocket and I literally forgot to give it to her. I'm going to forget. Give scroll. Ugh. This is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose. All right, perfect. And we are going to get the ca the carrion slicer. And we're going to get the glint blade phalanx eventually too cuz that's just too goddamn good, all right? Anybody who's like, "Ah, it spells useless." Phalanx is pretty damn good. Now, We've only got about the two slots currently. I'm going to go with the slice for right now. We'll get the shooting stars back soon enough. What we can do, because one, we need to... We kind of need to get some more spell slots. And the best way to do that is honestly to go north. But we're not quite there yet. Mistwood? Do I want to do Mistwood? I feel like that's what I want to do is Mistwood. Okay. Let's Mistwood or go up into the storm hill. Let's go to Mistwood. Oh, you know what? We will go to the right because there are there's a couple things that we can do in that area that I think will all be useful to us. One way or another. And at the end of this episode, I did say we would be taking on uh, our first, like, major, our story boss. I did say that. So we will be doing that as well. Don't, don't worry. I didn't forget. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Up here is Storm Hill. Get stabbed in the leg, loser. That guy's like, can you believe this idiot just rode by on a horse and just jammed me in the leg? Like, I'm gonna smash him so good. Oh, you got... Wait, why didn't it break the statue? Why isn't the statue broken? Hello? That broke it. That's good. I just needed him to jump on it, apparently. Damn it. I almost had it. I, I love these guys boxing each other in the legs. Please, pick it up. Okay, or not. That's fine, too. I don't actually want to get in between the chuckle. Oh, God. Here we go. Three stooges. What's what's easier to get? Apparently, three of them is what I needed. All right. We're going to leave. Oh, God. Now four are coming into the ring. Oh, boy. Don't be like me, folks. I make bad decisions and try to make it look like they were intelligent. They weren't. We're leaving. Oh, gosh. We're just going to drink our flask and keep running with our tail between our legs, okay? Oh, that was not what I wanted. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Uh, uh, uh. Huh, huh. Good save. Here we go. Take this. You in the back, you can have that. Still alive, what? It brings him to one health. Get out of here, get out of town. Got them both. Oh, we got a short sword out of it. That's eh, not completely useless, nor is it really useful. You could argue that, you know, if something isn't useful, it's useless, and I wouldn't say that you're wrong. 
At least we can definitely take out the dogs. Oh, this guy hit pretty hard. I forgot how much damage he dealt. You know, we can even summon my, my loyal pooch here. He can help us out, all right? Climb for them, my pooch. Climb. There we go, rabbit dog. Get in there. Get in there. Bite him. Bite his ankles. Bite his dog ankles. All right, we were a little far back there. All right, we have to heal up, but I need that dog to die. All right, that did not occur. We said we needed something, and the game said, what if it didn't happen like that, though? And then I said, I would sure like it if it did. Oh, ran out of FP. Ran out of FP, and there's a man throwing jars of Kool-Aid at me. Got him with the last bit there. I I always forget how short that's, that attack is, and that's really my own fault more than anything else. All right. I think that's most of the camp. Nope, that's a summon sign. Tricked me almost. The rotten stray. I love it. He's still just in it to win it. I believe this is our reward for coming in here. God knows what it is now. All right, so now we have an actual shield if we would like to equip, which is fine. Now, I can't say that the shield is something that we'll be attempting to use uh, because I really don't want to have to try to block hits with this guy. Like, something tells me the... My poor guy here is not going to be like the main man for holding up his strong arm and holding back a fury of blows. Something tells me. I'm just saying. Like, I just don't think this guy's going to last very long in the thick of it like that. So why, sh why would we put him in there like that? So let's keep him rolling. We'll keep him light. We'll keep him agile. That's what I was looking for. I was just a little bit off course. Uh... What am I being chased now by 35 dogs? You want some of this? Okay, they want some of this. That's pretty good that once you start that moving, as long as you've got the FP to keep it keep it keep you like your sword up, you can you can slap out those hits, which I'm kinda digging. Uh, let's get our... In oh, God, we're only getting one level out of that. I was going to say, let's get our intelligence up. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We didn't get much. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Ah, uh, my faith holds yes, firm. You're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. Sure, let's see what he's got. I'm actually... I think quick step is honestly going to be like a move that we can use a lot of because can i put that on anything this is going to be where i look like a fool because i just spent that on this and oh i can put quick step on it nice yeah and make it keen this we don't need skills that's a that's the torch attack okay so what that's going to do is allow me to 
kind of dodge quickly if I need to get in and out of combat, which is kind of what I need. I, I do like the ability to kind of duck in, do my damage, and then try to scoot, scoot out of there. I know we're going to go to Mistwood. Small detours on the way, that's all. One more on that guy and he'll be down. Alright, we got some nice gloves. We're going this way for a very specific reason. Because we do want to reach this shack. And don't worry, I'll show the map when we get there. I don't want anybody to get lost. It's very easy to get lost sometimes in this game if you're not paying attention to your map. All right, we are here at Storm Hill Shack. We pretty much started, I think, down here and then just went up north and did all that. One, you got to come on over here. Get you this stone sword key. Very important loot right there. You're going to need it. You're going to need that now. You hear me? You hear? All right, and then you got to talk to this lovely lady. Been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought. For me, only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. I know. Can you take this little one along with you? All right. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was, oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure they'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, okay, me so that's her dialogue. I'll be honest, even like knowing what she's referring to, I don't really know what they mean by the chrysalids. I. I might be misremembering certain sections, characters, so on and so forth, but yeah, that whole chrysalid thing, I'm not sure. But when we actually get up and into Stormvale Castle, hopefully that'll all become a little bit more uh, obvious, so to speak. Now we're going to come over here because I want to get this guy out of the way. Come on. Where are you at there, big guy? There he is. That wasn't me getting off my horse. Just please don't take that the wrong way. That was me being forced off my horse because uh, somebody, this guy, Henricus, forced me off. So, you know, that means we got to fight him. I mean, hey, he's just walking into it. I'm going to let him have it. Whoa, okay. He didn't do his much. He's got a big weapon, so... Yikes.
I know I could just kill him from range, but I, I'm trying to do this the honorable way. Like that. Now you've been taken down by my blade. Sure, it was a, you know, a blade made of light that cut through you, and your armor really didn't do anything to stop, but, you know, you got, you got killed by my blades. Close enough, damn it. Just, just, just take the death. Take the death. Alright, so I wanted to just knock that guy out, because, uh, because I think it's, I think he's fun to kill. I don't know why, I just enjoy killing him. <laughs> For, like, a little invader dude, I'm like, yeah, let's get him. Alright. So now let's head over to Mistwood. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see you up there. I sure do. I don't think either of those can hit. Yep. One, the distance is too great. Oh, you little... Oh, he just... Oh, who? God! Dang it, he got me. He fooled me real good, actually. I'll be honest. I really thought it was rolling off the side, which is why I threw myself after him. Did not occur. Did not occur. Let's go back up there and get that now that we've reset at the site of grace. That should be back there. I don't know what that guy's got inside of him, so I don't want to, like, miss a really cool item. There he is. I see him up there. Ah, oh, he's right over here by this knight. This time we won't be fancy. We're just going to get in there and get it done. Oh, okay, he drops a smith and stone. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay. I don't know what that one little piece up there. It's probably a crafting material that we do not need. We don't need it. Well, let's go into Mistwood. We've got a couple little items over there that I would like to pick up. Now, this is the air area, excuse me, that we ran through before. And we are just going to continue to do that now. But we're going to come up here. Our original path is down there. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can. I'm stuck. You're stuck? Hello? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Help him out. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop. Don't dally. Huh? Give it your all, Ice. Give him a nice smack from the rear, alright? There we are. That was easy. Oh, we're, we're coming this way. Well played. Well played. Mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. I almost killed you. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior Jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot blighted Kalid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> I'm heading eastward, 
to Redmain Castle. I've heard that. All right, he's basically he's looping dialogue effectively. So, all right, so we've met Iron Fist Alexander, who's heading to the east for a battle of combat that he can educate himself further in the arts of war. All right. We are coming here. And we are going to cross this bridge. So let's have a look at our map just so everyone's aware of where we've come from and where we're going. We are heading out here into Mistwood. This guy we might as well take out. Oh, okay. Well, he might just take me out. He, he's going to do it. He's going to do it because uh, I just could not get out of there. I got my horse stuck and then... That was the end of me, laddies. Oh. There we go. That'll get him. I was like, man, he walked through it and it really didn't feel like it did anything to him, but all right. That's okay. Minor sidetrack. That's all. Oh, we're just running into characters left and right. Am I, I terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? Ah, we found another vendor. So what is this? Expands crafting repertoire. Pickled poison arrow, poison arrow, poison bone bolt. We don't really need any of that. The bandit mask. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. And he sells a halberd. Sadly, I do not think any of this stuff here will be useful for us. But thank you, my good friend, for being a, a vendor at a time when we did not need one. All right. As we progress further down here. Found this love. Ow! In my back? Really, you animals? Oh, geez. They have, uh. The trick with any undead is to hit them after you've already downed them, because they will just keep reviving. Oh, boy. They, uh. They hit very hard. Let him do his own thing. Now this area here that we're passing through, not really that important. There's nothing really worth killing those guys for, if we're being honest. So we're going to come on down here. And then we're going to go into this little town, because I'm sure you can see that purple light there on the left. And that's where we're heading. To summon water village. And we find a boss waiting for us. I actually do not know how much damage this stuff will do to him. I have never fought this guy with spells and such. Oh, that is so cool that I could do this from horseback. I mean, cool, but also feels like I'm going to be a little bit... I'm going to be a little broken. Oh, okay. All right. All right there, Mr. Happy Splash Man. How much does my actual spear do? Arguably uh, not as good. Those three guys there are just all... Oh god, come on, we can we can end this. There you go, buddy. You wanna play that game? Eat my spell. Oh crap, I really thought that was gonna kill him. That's a little embarrassing that it didn't. Be uh and all the undead go with him. All right, and we get some skeletal 
militia men. They they're a pretty good front line if I uh, if I remember like appropriately because they kind of have the exact same stats as the skeletons. So like when they go down, uh, they have like a, a a little revive mechanic. So your your spirit ashes basically get destroyed really easily because they're kind of weak for skellies. But then they keep getting back up. So as long as the AI doesn't like keep targeting them. You pretty much have a never-ending army of skellies that'll just keep throwing themselves at the opponent. Yeah, they get this. Which I think that's kind of cool that that actually extends to the spirit versions of them. I like that a lot. Alright, now this area here is nice. It's just, you know, it's another boss down. We can get the death route. Which is an item that that mariner there did drop and we're gonna have a look at that now that item there is uh, kind of coveted by D in the round table hold but we'll get to that in two seconds in two quick shakes of a lamb's tail we're just checking up here for anything because I you know, I've got I've played this a bunch of times now on three different characters across but uh that does not mean that I know where everything is constantly. I forget. All right. So we got that going for us. Let's have a look at that item we just picked up. Which is a key. Death Root. The beast clergyman found at Bestial Sanctum in the distant east collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the uh, of the great tree sprouting in the form of death root which is kind of interesting because it, it it then found its form as death root but then that death root basically um you know came out in like man in the the mariners and stuff in like the undead it's not like the death root became like a plant of some kind which is kind of what I thought it would be going towards. Like, oh, it's uh, it's going to become a big old plant now. Just got kicked off my horse again. The Tarnished Eater. Really? Oh, we do not do a lot to her. Or at least my magic doesn't seem to do a lot. It's probably because she's wearing uh, what, like cloth and stuff that it probably has really good magic resist but like poor oh that was a mistake on our half I think. Nope. Well we won the fight so it's never a mistake if you win. The Sacred Scorpion Charm. We'll check that out in two seconds. Let's get in here and touch the Sight of Grace. What do we got? Cookbook. And a cookbook. And I think we can squeeze two levels out of that. Grab that one there. And where do I want to go next? Into mind, potentially? We can just keep leveling up these two. Kind of need my vigor to go up a little bit. I would like to get vigor and my, like, endurance to 15 each. And then just kind of skyrocket my intellect, my dexterity, and my mind. That way I can just keep having those three stats go up. For my either my weapon damage, my spell damage, or my mana pool, respectively. All right, so we're gonna go down this side here. Now, don't worry. I know we said we're gonna get to that first story boss, and believe me, we are going to. We're getting there. I promise. It's on the horizon. Well, we can't forget that there's actually a cave there. That that's pretty good. But, oh, okay. I was like, please let us make this jump. Because I was like, I really don't want to splat right here. It would be just a little embarrassing to me. Come down here. All 
All right, and we got the sacred blade. That's pretty cool if you like want to add like uh, holy damage onto your weapon, which is pretty nice. The big thing that we came here for is in this little place, in the third church of America. We can get the flask of wondrous physique and the crimson crystal tear. Plus, we can get a sacred tear, which is also really nice. Now, the Flask of Wondrous Physique right here, we can add different effects to it. So right now, it just I think it will just give us HP because that's all we have. That's the only thing that we can mix uh, with it. But as we go forward and find more things to mix with it. Oh, but we can make the flasks give more HP now. Flasks, increase amount. Yep, because we just had a Sacred Tear for it. We only had the one, and I have no Golden Seeds, right? Okay, perfect. All right. We have pretty much one more stop to make, and then it's boss time, I think. We're going to go down here into Mistwood to get the map for this area, because I think having the map is... Unless you already know exactly where you're going, what you're doing, what your goals are, I always think that the map should be one of your absolute first things to get. And we're going to just take a very slight detour over here, because I know where I'm going and I know what I'm doing, uh, to do a slight detour off of the map. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... that's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Oh, you scumbag. But appearances nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, young tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool! and plumb mad to boot simply obsessed with blood ah vampire took your castle no problem what are you waiting for a kiss goodbye my fort lies to the south oh i see you wish to know the reward fret not the great kenneth height is known for his considerable largesse the celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval all right. One more little guy that needs our help. Needs us to take back his fort. We might be able to do that, too. Man, I'm such a... I'm such like, a, oh, well, we could just do this. We're going to do the boss. Don't worry. And then I'm like, whoa, hold on now. We could always do a little detour for Kenneth Height. I mean, he was so nice. And he did pram it. Promise a lavish reward, did he not? Not for you, dear. You don't get the reward. It's for me. All right, now, real quick, just so everyone sees the map, this is where I am. We're going this way because I would like to get the Z map. That is a very large bear. I am not trying to, to screw with him. So we're going to come in there, we're going to steal that cookbook right off from underneath him, and we're going to keep on trucking. You guys hear that howling now? Now that's very important. It'll come up later. But for now, just know that that howling is important. There's the Mistwood runes here. Not booby trapped. Axe talisman. I think pretty much absolutely worthless for us, but we will take it. Gotta love that bear. Literally sleeping on top of the stairs down, but you can still jump down them as long as you don't like actively, I think, run next to the bear. The bear doesn't wake up. So you can just like slip in there, get your stuff, and then slip right on out of there.
All right, now we are approaching this castle here, technically to the south of where that guy was, but we're gonna check our map just to be sure. But we have a Sight of Grace here first. All right, so good old Kenneth was here. We're over here. This is technically to the south of where he was. So let's go up here and see if we can't secure Kenneth's castle back for him and, you know, just be the absolute generous folks that we are. Missed on that guy, but let's hope that that doesn't come back to bite me. All right. This spear is going to kind of carry our damage for the most part here, I would say. Ow. Oh, boy. I really thought my stab was going to stagger him. I come down here. Oh, he's going over the side. Turn him around a little bit. Get that right into his back. That's what I'm talking about. That, that'll get him right in, the, right in the keister. There we go. And down he falls. All right, we can come over here. Get a golden seed. What a win. That's what I like. Now, Kenneth said that this castle was his, and I believe the great Kenneth, whatever his name was, Height. How could a man with a name like that lie? I don't think he can. So... I believe him. Let's get in here and get this man's home back for him. Like good questing knights would. Or whatever. Tarnished. Seems our spell never made the connection there. There we go. Now he's dead. Oh, damn it. He got me with the rat attack. And he's still alive. Oh no, it's a second one. Jeez, there were there were so many of them in here. Alright, more cookbooks. We're getting so many cookbooks, man. We're gonna be the world-renowned tarnished chef by the end of this. See us next season on Chopped. Alright, now I think we've eliminated most of the uh unsavory gentlemen from the place. Get some more bolts for that crossbow that I don't have. Uh, are you the guy with the blood problem? Oh, you definitely are. And you, you, you suck. Oof. That guy's not very nice, is he? Is he, folks? Dude, these dudes and all their little AoE damage, I hate them. Let's see what kind of damage we do to you. All right, just enough to hurt. He doesn't look like any vampire I've ever seen, but he does uh, definitely have blood on his mind. Let's just keep him looking this way so that those both hit him in the back. Oh, the shield blocked one. Oh, no. We just really need one more. Got him. Woo wee. And we got an Ash of War out of that, which is Bloody Slash. It's a pretty good one. I really like it on my other uh, character. I have a lot of fun with it. Now, let's climb back up here. Boop, 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 boop. Well, this is a really long ladder. <laughs> Jeez. I would be so exhausted, like, climbing that ladder that fast all over the top. And we have the left half of a medallion. Now, we're going to need to find that right half eventually, but for now, let's just be happy with our our little 
trinket that we've acquired. We're going to teleport back out here just because the fort is empty, which is the important bit. We beat the commander there, which was that gentleman, which clears it out for our friend, uh, Mr. Height. Now, we're going to go back this way because, one, we want to turn it into him. Little quest. Want to let him know that the deed has been done. For one. And two, we have one more item to pick up before we go and we fight. Good old uh, boss time. Well, you know, we've been fighting like little mini bosses this whole time. Some of which have even had like big name bars. But this one is a more story significant boss, you could argue. So. Now these guys here, I don't think any of these guys actually have anything. This is what I was trying to pick up. There we got the spiked cracked here and the green spilled. Now, those both can be added into our Flask of Wonders physique to mix so that it has multiple effects on it, which is actually really cool in my opinion. I think that's a really cool mechanic because, like, it could not heal you at all. It could have completely different effects like stamina recovery, uh, which is the green one. Then it also has the opposite one, which makes your power attack stronger, which is super cool. It's just you have, you have a lot of options, so... I usually always keep it with some health just because having that one extra heal in the back pocket's nice, but you can mix and match to your playstyle, man. You don't gotta do anything that I do. Hell, I picked a class most people won't even pick. God, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Ah, thank you for uh, one knife. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to reestablish communication with the demi-humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the earth tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Sure, pledge service. Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. All right. Right there. I've much All right, he's going back. Now, we're not going to go follow him right now because we have a bigger fish that I would like us to try and fry. I'm not sure if we'll be able to tackle it, but I am more sure about this than I was about the dragon. So have a little bit of faith in it, shall we? All right. Let us, I don't think we need anything specifically from anywhere, but we are going to head right up here. I will show our destination when we approach it, but actually just a couple extra runes here. Nice, got a two for there at the end. Yeah, we got some gauntlets. Now I'm probably not gonna be wearing any of that stuff just because it's very heavy and uh, we got wild strikes. That's a pretty good ash of war where you just swing your weapon in front of you over and over again. It can be really good if you have the FP to spare for it and you're just like laying into one enemy that's not like dying in front of you, you could throw a lot of damage very quickly, which is uh, something I very much enjoy. Let's run in here real quick. Da, 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 da. A 
lost grace. Take a little sit. Don't think we can level up. We're close, but not quite. Do I have any of the... Oh, we do have. Maybe we'll level up a couple times. Yeah, that's... Depending on how much this all gets us, we should get at least a couple levels out of it. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really uh, see how many we needed, nor did I do the math, so... Alright, so let's grab intelligence and we can get we can't get one more damn it we're just shy but i've got five of these which are 100 each i think they're 200 each okay so now we have enough we can get one more level out of it uh, uh it's hard let's go for the vigor just because we do want to kind of be a, a spell sword and be able to Hold our own on the front lines. Oh, man. Look at these bloodstains right here. Let's summon Sorcerer Rajir. I'm also a sorcerer. Come join me, Rajir. Rajir. Let me think for this fight. Our ashes. Uh, militiamen, I don't think. The skeletons, I don't think will live very long, but... Rajir, let's go. You can join my uh, contingent of men for this one. And forward we go. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. there, Margit. I don't like the cut of your jib. Let's fight. Oh, he's walking right into it. Oh, we are not doing... Oh, that was depressing. That also just missed horribly. We are not doing as much damage as I was really quite hoping we would do here. That does a little bit of damage to him. Yeah, we are throwing... Okay, so the... Now, somebody else hit him, I think, at the same time. We've got about one more of these. Oh, boy, we could have... Oh, well, that was a miss. That hit the hammer, it looked like. Oh, boy. Oh, God, Rajir is going down. Ow. All right, buddy. Oof, the wind up on this is... Seems like it's got a much faster wind up if I do it after a roll. Come here, you. Oh, 
Oh, he got me. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I gotta give it to him. All right, let's try the stray dog. I'm just gonna go in on it with this stuff. Oof. I was going in on him, but he went in on me a little bit. Trying to stay on him, but... Alright, let's... Roll! Slash! 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 Get out of here, Margit! Marge! Ow. I think that is really cool that this definitely gets like a a cast time boost after a roll. Oh, and got him. Yo, Rajir. I would give you a high five if that was an emote, but I don't think that's actually... Oh, goodbye anyway. Well. Well, he can remember me all he goddamn wants. I'm not scared of him, you know what I'm saying? But hey, two tries, not bad. The first one, we could have got him if I'd been maybe a little smarter. Uh, didn't look like our, our glintstone blade was really doing much in there, sadly. But we did get him on the second run, which is nice. But let's uh, let's let's clean up here. Let's get some of this blood off me here at the site of grace. There we go. Look at us. We're looking great. Now, folks, that is going to be the end of this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing so that you can see more Elden Ring content as it comes out. Because I'm going to be playing a lot of it. If you want to see some live Elden Ring content, please check out my Twitch channel. The link is down below. As always, folks, this has been Final Hydra. Thanks so much for hanging out and being an awesome audience. And I will see you all next time.